All right, guys, Papa Pepper here. Just uh, thinking about life, legacies, remembering people, that type of stuff, uh, memories. Since Mama Pepper and I got together, she's lost uh, both her grandparents on her dad's side. Now, we used to take the drive down from Wisconsin to South Texas about 28, 29 hours just of driving on a yearly basis. So we got to uh, see them about every year until they passed. And uh, recently we were down there, and one interesting thing is they had one of these plants growing out front, which is uh, called by many things, also known as a snake plant. So uh, some of them were beat up, they were laying on the ground. I mean, they got hit with a uh, weed whacker or something, pretty beat up. So I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I ask her aunt who lives at the house now and see if we can grab some of those. Red pepper? So a while ago, I think back in December, we got some from, uh, from Grandpa Pepper's house. And uh, all we did was cut them into little pieces, about six, seven inches tall. So you can see here's the, here's the tip of this one. And I just cut it off and it started rooting. All we did was put it in water. It also shot off a whole new growth, which is now taller, taller than the original. So we chopped one, you know, here's the tip of it. We chopped one into a bunch of pieces and just stuck it in jars of water. This one's got two new growths coming. And, uh, and you can see it was just like a like a six inch piece. We chopped off, started rooting being in the water, and now it's got two new sprouts. So we're gonna be able to grow these from my parents' house. And then you can see this is a different variety of the same type of plant. And all we're gonna do is hang on to it and uh, just give it a couple snips here. Are you watching where that's pointing? That's what you're doing, you're recording right now. So if we just give it a couple snips, we'll be able to take these, shove them in some water, be able to take this, shove it in some water, and the same thing here. And then, no matter what happens, you know, to the house down there, to the plant down there, to other things, my kids are going to be able to have these that they're going to remember from their great-grandparents' house. And additionally, I also have these guys here, which are some little figs. Now, uh, they're budding up white, but these are also from uh, my wife's grandparents' house. So these are from Mama Pepper's grandparents' house. Where are you aiming? And uh, we're going to get those grown too, so we can maybe even grow some figs, just like the ones they have down there. So, just a way to use plant propagation, teaching children, education, and, uh, you know, interacting with family. Um, as a way to have something that will be around for years to come that we can remember people by. When we see those, we can kind of remember the memories, the times, and that type of stuff, right? So um, we got an empty jar here. We're going to make some of those up, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Pop out.